Recorded Books presents the efficient, inventive, often annoying, Melville Dewey, by Alexis O'Neill, illustrated by Edwin Fotheringham, read by Jonathan Todd Ross. My heart is open to anything that's either decimal or about libraries. Melville Dewey. Melville Dewey loves putting things in order. Oh, no. What's he doing now? He's organizing the chaos of his mother's kitchen cupboard. And now the cellar. There. Nice and neat. Melville loves keeping track of things. He is recording his height, his weight, how much money he has earned. Melville loves books. He tucks his money into his pocket and goes for a ten-mile walk. Wait, where is he going? Melville treks ten miles from his home in Adams Center, New York, to Watertown. He buys an unabridged Webster's American Dictionary of the English Language, the biggest, thickest book in the shop. And inside that book? Words in tidy lists. Words in alphabetical order. Easy to find delicious words. Then he rushes back home. After locking his father's shop at night, Melville sometimes stretches out on the leather hides in the storeroom. He wonders, what will I do with my life? He wants to leave the world better than he found it, but he doesn't know quite how. Not yet.